Hello, my name is Julio Carreras and I'm going to tell you about the entrepreneurial scientist. Uh, the objective of this training is to fall, to have a vision of the technological entrepreneurship and to learn about the industrial PhD as a tool for support this kind of activities. First of all, we have to define what is a technological entrepreneurship. Uh, to me, the most, in most interesting definition is the one about Sue and Klein that has three key elements. One is the economical support, the entrepreneur is not alone, he, the, he is backed by investors. The, the aim of the entrepreneur, that is always to launch a company, a new business, and that this business has to be uh, based in the innovation. A good measure to, a good methodology to measure the success of these technological entrepreneurs is the number of new technological based firms created. And next question is what can be considered as a technological based firms? Uh, there are five characteristics that define this kind of companies. Uh, firstly, they are uh, small uh, firms, uh, new, uh, relatively new firms between one and ten years. Uh, they have a high intensity in research and development and the core team of these companies is, uh, has a background in technology. They have a great implication in the company, but they are also involved in the business origin. Uh, having this into mind, in, into mind uh, we have uh, to look at the main characteristics of these uh, technological entrepreneurs. These people used to be uh, very motivated by the perception of the new business opportunity. Um, it is not a question of survival to launch the company, it is more a question of they believe in their idea or they believe in the technology that they have been in, involved in the development. Uh, they, they usually have a high educational level, uh, not only the entrepreneurs, also the team. Most of them or several of them are doctors, 57% of the cases, and uh, they are usually involved in, the innovative, in an innovative environment. Uh, this is uh, a key question uh, in order to understand why the, the role of the university in these uh, new technology based firms. Uh, in the university there is a, a good environment for the technological development, for the research and innovation, but also we have usually a, a office or, or, or a good support a, a team to the technology transfer. So then the, the university spin-offs are companies created for the exploitation of products or services that are developed using knowledge or technology generated by the academic research. One, we have the one insight in the technological entrepreneurs, then we are going to move uh, to the next part of the presentation that is the industrial PhD. Uh, the industrial PhD is a tool that can support the growth and development of the technology based uh, firms. It is worth it to mention that, it, that this uh, tool is not only oriented to the technology based firms, it could be used for any kind of company uh, wanting to increase their activity in research and development. So which is the objective of this tool? To hire our researchers. Uh, when, we hire, uh, when the company uses this tool for uh, hire a researcher, uh, there are one main principle that is that this researcher is going to develop their PhD focus in one need of the company in innovation. And then we find four different uh, elements. The first element is that the umbrella of an official uh, education, in this case the university. The second element is that the PhD is not a lot in the research, they have a thesis director who accompanied him during the or her during the whole process. It could be one person from the company or it could be one person from the uh, university. And uh, also there is a, a, a contractual relation between both institutions, the company and the university, and uh, all is oriented to develop one specific project. So who wins? There is a win-win-win situation. Win the company because they have a talent attraction, they collaborate with uh, the university, with people who are uh, highly specialized in research, 
uh, the university increase the value of the thesis and also strengthen their relations with the company and the, the student or the doctoral student which collaborate in one research development and development project which, which in most of cases is the first big uh, uh, project and uh, it is more uh, in relation with the real world in the, in, the, in the company and also has a laboral, a laboral contract that can be extended after the, the end of the thesis. So, uh, to summarize this training pill, we have learned that the principles of the technological, the, the main principles of the technological entrepreneurship and we have seen the industrial PhD as a tool that can be used by the companies, for big, by these new technological based firm companies, but also with, by other kind of companies. So thank you for your attention.